Hi guys, welcome back to my breaker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve IGCSC. This is me, me June 2020 exam. For this video, we're going to be looking at the web of. So for this paper, I have done the spreadsheet. If you want to watch the video, let's go through my channel in the video. Okay, let's go straight to web author. Okay, first we need to do the file management task. Create a new folder called 2431. Locate only the following files and store them in your folder. Contact locate Logo, contact, location, row, plain style and text. Need file text. So we're going to move them to this folder. Display the contents of your folder, showing the folder name file names, file extension, file size, and image extension. Take a screenshot of this folder, making sure that the required information is clearly visible. Place the screenshot in your evidence documents. So we want to display. So we want this folder name. Be visible. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot here. This in my document as step 10. Okay, web page. Here's a web page called splendid.htm. And save this in your A24. We are going to open this pressure. Okay, so we need to save this as if. Okay, that's done. This web page must be created using a single table and work in browsers. The table must fit 85% of the browser and have a structure as shown in this diagram. Okay, so to create this table, we need to know how many rows and columns. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five rows and two columns. View, insert table, insert table, five row, two column. And we need to specify the width. Okay, it's eighty five percent. Okay, now we need to merge the cells. So row is merged. Merge. This is cell A. This two. This is cell B. This is C. This is D. This is E, 
image. This is X. This is G. Okay, now we need to put the measurement of the height for cell A. It's twenty percent. Okay, click cell properties. The height is twenty percent. Cell B, the width is sixty percent. Sixty percent. Okay, each table cell is identified with cell then content show in the diagram must not appear on the final web page. Table borders must not appear on the final. Set the title of the web page to Splendid. Okay, so the title will go to the code. Click the title. Splendid. Enter in this in cell A, the text serve our species in cell A. Cell C, splendid toad fish. Set the text in cell A and C as style H1. Go cell A, style H1, C, H1. Enter the cell. Enter in the cell G text set by followed by your name, center number, and can number in cell G. Followed by your name, center number, and candidate number. Set this text as style H2. Place in the cell B. Page splendid. Of course, we must always put an authentic text to all the images. Okay, so the text, the image splendid, cell B. Insert picture. Splendid. Okay, splendid. Cell D image content. That picture Cell F, the image location. Location. This in cell E, the text from the file two four three. Okay, so we just copy all the text in cell E. Cell E. Set each of these three paragraphs into paragraph styles. So I'm going to go to the view. Each of these three paragraphs. Select and then paragraph style.
Okay, attach the style J2431 style CS to your web page. How to edit this style sheet? Okay, so we want to add a style CSS style. Attach. Style has been applied. Create a new style sheet. Okay, so we're going to create a new style sheet. The file J243 PNG, <clears throat> excuse me, is placed as a single background image in the top left of the window so we need to create a style Mat new style so the style is for body we'll have background so the background is going to be an image. The image is logo. Logo. So the question says, as a single background image in the top left, single background means no repeats. And the position in the top left. Okay. And that's it. The table is right aligned within the browser window. The table is right aligned. Okay, so we need to create a new style for table. Okay, so the table is right aligned. So for the right will be zero. It will be zero. Then from the left, the left will be auto. So I'm going to remove this pixel. Okay, so right and then auto. This H1, H2 and the paragraph style use the font times, then the font times New Roman. If times is not available, the browser's default serif font, if neither of these fonts is available. So we are creating a new style again. And the style will be for H1, H2, and then paragraph. Okay, so the font is going to be times. If times is not available, times new Roman. If times new Roman is not available, then serif. Okay, also, H1 and H2 paragraph style are bold. Okay, paragraph style is. Um, that should be the weight bold okay since the paragraph style is fully justified okay a new style for the paragraph it is justified that will be the text alignment Justify. Okay, your name, center number, and candidate number are set as a comment at the top of the style sheet. So I will be using slash star my center 
and candidate number and then star slash okay make sure that your style sheet contains no html or scripting language and is as efficient as possible save this style sheet in your g24314 in a cascading style sheet format as this name followed by your center number candidate number so center number then candidate number Attach this style sheet to your web page so that it has higher priority than the one attached in step 18. Okay, so to attach, just click attach style sheet, browse. Okay. We don't need to do anything to automatically put a higher priority that has been attached. Take a screenshot of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document. Make sure the file name and all content are clearly visible. So this style sheet, we just need to take a screenshot of course showing the name. And then paste this in our evidence document. This is step, step 8, 19. Okay, step 19. Save your web page. Take a copy of your HTML source and paste this in your evidence document. Okay, a copy of the HTML code. Just copy. This is step 20. Play your web, brow web page browser if necessary. Resize it so that all the page can be seen, all text can be easily read, the address bar is fully visible. Take screenshot evidence showing your web page in the browser and paste this in your evidence document. Okay. okay so, let's make sure to save. And then we need to. This is fine. Just take a screenshot. Of course, you have to take a screenshot from the top because you want your the the title to be visible. So we place this in our evidence document. So that's all for this jam paper. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like share and subscribe.